Hey everyone, Brian from Sewage and Air Brewing here. It is a incredibly hot May 31st, 2023, and I think it's maybe time for a bit of an update on the 50 meter beer project. So when it comes to the actual brewing project, I don't actually have a ton of updates to make. Uh, Canada right now is in the middle of a countrywide uh, heat wave. Uh, it's, we're under near drought conditions here. And so this has had some pretty sort of hard effects on my barley and on my hops. It uh, really is slowing their growth. So the stealth hops are on the way out, unfortunately. Uh, they're just too far removed for me to get water to them. I literally have to carry a five gallon bucket of water, uh, quite a long distance to water them. I did it a few times, but I just can't keep up. I think I'd have to water them twice a day to keep them going and they're just done. The hops on the side of the house are faring better. I have a hose there, so it's a little bit easier to take care of them. Uh, and so, you know, those hops I've been able to water on a somewhat frequent basis and they're doing okay. Uh, in fact, today, the older plant finally made it to the roof of the house. It is about a week behind from where I would have expected it to be, but it has made it to that height. The hops that are new this year are not doing quite as well. Uh, they are growing a little more slowly, but I'm not too surprised by that. As I said, it's pretty dry. They're probably putting most of their energy into growing roots and they are growing upwards as well. I don't know that I'm gonna to get too many hops from them this year, but we at least seem to be en route to establishing some decent rhizomes. But before I move on to the barley, I thought I'd mention a couple of exciting things that have happened recently here on the farm. So I don't think I've mentioned it yet in the series, but I actually lost all my beehives over the winter. We had a massive storm on Christmas Eve that completely buried all of my hives. And unfortunately, by the time I noticed that and got them uncovered, several of them had asphyxiated. The ones that made it through that have lost a huge portion of their population and just as winter went on they just one by one kind of fell by the wayside and by spring all of my beehives were dead. Well I set up a swarm trap, I'll put a picture of it in here uh, and sure enough I've caught a swarm. So that's what I'm sitting next to here. This is a essentially brand new to me hive uh, of bees that swarmed and I was able to capture them and with some luck I'll be able to grow this thing up and get it to a usable size uh, to make it over winter. I also do have some more nucleus hives coming this weekend, so I'll be able to get a couple more beehives going here in the near future. Even more exciting though than bees is our one goat, Charlie, has finally given birth uh, to two little girls. We have Pepper, who is the black goat, and Sprinkles, who is the spotted goat. Uh, these two little girls are pretty cute and adorable, and they're also already sold, so uh, don't, uh, don't ask me if you can get one, because uh, they're already gone. Uh, Charlie, our other pregnant doe, uh, will be giving birth this weekend, I believe it is, so we'll see what comes out of her. Now, it's not just uh, baby goats on the farm. Uh, we've also picked up two piglets uh, that are two months old at this point. Uh, we let my son name them, so we have Squidward and Patrick. Uh, some of you will, will get that reference and uh, some of you won't. Uh, and so they too are, are now here on the farm and struggling with this incredible heat wave that we're going through right now. So that's it for sort of non-beer related things. So let's go back to the barley. So the barley itself is actually doing okay. I have been watering it, which is a little weird for barley. You usually don't irrigate barley, uh, but it's been needed this year because of course it's, it's incredibly dry. We've had a third of the rain that we'd expect around this time of year. Uh, but it's growing kind of weird. I think that there was maybe a little bit richer of a patch of soil somewhere in there because some of the barley is growing quite tall and some of it is all kind of a little bit smaller. Hopefully it'll keep growing. Hopefully we'll get a decent crop. Uh, but with the weather we have and with the forecast in the next two weeks, I think we're going to be dealing with a lot of heat stress and that may, uh, may negatively impact my yield somewhat. But we're going to push forward. We're going to make some sort of beer off of the property this year. And hopefully we get a break in the weather, get a bit of rain, and things will pan out fine at the end. Anyways, that's it for today's update. Uh, this was more of an excuse to show off all the new animals than it was to really talk about the brewing project. Uh, but I hope you'll join me in two or three weeks when we have our next update. And hopefully there'll be a little bit more positive news on the front of the hops and the barley. Also, I'm getting pretty close to being ready to start trying to collect some wild yeast. We just need to get a little bit more growth in the garden, and I think we'll be ready to start that. So until then, I'm Brian, and thanks again for joining me.